this is the only room that finished. Ah, I like it. It's island style. Well, it is a beach house. I want it to look modern, clean, simple, but rustic. Everything has to be rattan. Cool, I like it. crafters it's been a while welcome back to my show and today we're going to make island style furnitures I'm gonna start with the vanity and these are the patterns for the table and stool just make it on a piece of cardboard let's start from the stool stick it like this whether using hot glue or white glue to become like this and then measure it to find the perfectly fit size piece and stick it like this and let's continue to the table Once again, measure it to find the perfectly fit size piece and stick it like this. And then do the same thing to this part and this part. We're gonna need this space to put the legs. And here's the mirror frame pattern. Make the pattern on a paper and trace it on a cardboard. You can use this tool to make the circle. If you're done with the first pattern, let's make the second. It's about like this. And then trace it to two pieces of cardboard. It is kinda hard because it's quite small. Look at mine, it's so ugly. But don't worry, we're going to fix it later. Just do the best you can while cutting it and be patient. And then stick them together to create some thickness and to cover the flaws. And here they are all the parts of the vanity. Of course, we're going to put a mirror in the mirror frame. So this is the mirror sticker, but I've got the bad one. This is the good one. Oh, hello, you can see me. Well, I hope you can get the good one. Don't stick it yet. We need to do something about it first. Let's start from the easiest one, the stool. So you need to print some rattan texture image on a piece of glossy paper to do this. In this way, you don't need to cover the ugly texture of the cardboard before putting the texture on. So simple, right? But if you'd like to paint it, this is what you have to do first. You need to cover all the ugly texture of the cardboard using any kind of thin paper and white glue.
Here it is. You don't need to cover all of them. Just leave the side that's not gonna be seen. And then let's continue to make the drawer. You need to remeasure the space and reduce it by 2 millimeters each side. We're going to make a shape like this and of course we don't want it to be too tight. So you can use any kind of cardstock, cut it like this and score this line. So you can fold it easily like this. I'm sure you did something like this before at elementary school. I'm so happy when everything is perfectly fit. And let's decorate it. Of course, you need to wait till all the glue gets dry and continue to paint it. Double layer the paint to make it smoother. Of course, you can use your favorite color. Something I feel fail about this table is this corner. Ah, let's just continue, that's okay. And now you can continue to stick the frame to the mirror and cover the ugly texture. First, you need to wait till all the glue gets dry before painting it. And here it is! The final part, the legs. I'm using some chopstick. You can also use wooden dowel. But what I like about chopstick is the shape of the pointy tip. So here's the size for the stool. Put it with a little angle like this. Just use your filling, you don't have to really measure it. And then here's for the table. Also put it on an angle like this. You can use whether hot glue or white glue. And here it is. Yes, I put a little something on it just to make a stronger structure. And I'm telling you, the structure is strong enough and it's not wiggling at all. When it is done, let's continue to the shelving unit. And here's the patterns. Make two pieces of each small part. And to draw the half circle, use this tool. I don't know the English word for this tool. Now let's continue to stick the small parts together to create some thickness, like this. So always remember to put the better side to be outside, like this. And to strengthen the structure, cross two different direction of cardboard texture like this. Put the glue right here and stick them together. To do this, I really recommend white glue. And to avoid bending shape of the cardboard, put a really heavy book on it for a couple hours. And then we're ready to stick them together. This time, I'm using hot glue. Measure the space to create the other shelves, like this. The number of the shelves is up to your design. And also to the arrangement, it's really up to you. Just remember to always measure the mark where you'd like to put the shelf on. And to put them together, I recommend white glue better than hot glue, because it doesn't dry so fast. Double layer it to create some thickness just like the other part. 
yes, we need to fix this wavy texture with this. And let's continue to cover all the ugly texture of the cardboard using any kind of thin paper and white glue. Make sure all the glue is dry before painting it. So I'm trying a style with one layer of paint. It looks unfinished, but it's exactly the look I wanted. And then let's continue to make the drawer. Just like the vanity drawer, remeasure the space and reduce it by 2 millimeters and make something like this. Here it is. You can add some more drawers or not. It's up to your design because it's very versatile. You can even change the size into the one you need. I hope you like it. Don't forget to leave your comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in my other show. Bye!